Hi guys, review 101 here. Today I'll be reviewing one of the lights that people have put in request for, uh, Vipar Spectra Series. This is the V300. Um, some quick facts before I get into the actual testing. Some people mention online that it says you'll get ones that say R-O-S-H and or Rosh and ones that say R-O-H-S like it's supposed to. As you can see here, I got one that says Rosh. So I think that's pretty funny. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of companies put that on there, trying to use that as like a selling feature. Um, I don't think anybody really cares about that. Um, does have a warranty void label on it. Does have the light switch. Does have it to where you can plug in another cord, uh, so you don't have to plug it into the outlet. Quick thing underneath. Reflector series, basically. Um, to me, this looks and reminds me of the Mahizi Reflector Series. We shall see if it's just as good because it's in the same price range. Um, quick facts on it on the Spectrum is super blue heavy. Kind of like the Mahizi is, but the Mahizi has more red than this one does. Um, suppose it draws 136 watts at the wall. Par at 18 inches is supposedly 483. I think par at 24 inches was supposedly 300. Um, as I said, some, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, I've said I probably might. I haven't considered, I haven't for sure decided if I'm going to do it yet. But at least on the bigger lights, I think I'm going to make second videos for um, at 24 inches because some of these. Um, Smaller lights at 18 inches is fine, but 24 inches it will give me a better and my viewers a better idea of what it's going to cover at a higher height. I think some of them are so low and it's so low, it kind of kills the actual footprint a little bit. Um, let's see. Verify that it's at 18 inches. This one's slightly above 18 inches, like just under 18 and a quarter. Um, okay, I've yet to turn this light on. So let's go ahead and check it out. Fan's not too loud. Kind of a pink hue. Um, but does in the center have more of a, like the whiter, not that dead pink. Again, this light is super blue heavy, not red. So, I'm going to check the watt draw here. 131, they claim 136, so that's pretty close. My LED light graveyard right there. And the lights that I've torn apart to do some investigations on. We got the AMG 800 Cobb series back there. People are telling me great things about that. We'll find out here soon how great or non great that light really is. <coughs> um. Oh, yeah. Real quick, they give you this telling you about light. This is the Bipart Spectra B300. Give you some quick facts. Read it off real quick. Supposedly replaces 250 watt high pressure sodium. Um, 60 pieces of LEDs with those being Bridge Lux and Epi LEDs. It says 136 watts at the wall. I thought it was pretty close. Max coverage 3 foot 3. 3 foot by 3 foot. And 2 foot by 2 foot for Bloom. Um, by 12.6 inches long by 7.9 inches uh, wide is on the dimensions. So it's a relatively small light. Um, this light is like, I think it was 80, 89, something like that on Amazon. So for the price range, it's going to be similar comparisons to your Mars Hydra 300, your, your, um, 
Hazy 300, um, and a couple other lights that I've reviewed in that same area. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a par test. It's actually higher, which is crazy. I claimed it was going to be 483. I'm getting 508, 509. Five twelve. That's I think this is the first light I've ever reviewed that the recommendation or the advertised par is actually lower. I mean it's actually higher than what they claim. So that's crazy. It's a good sign. Well we'll see, we'll get some twelve by twelve. Two thirty eight. Two thirty eight. Two twelve, two seventy nine, three oh two. So good, great numbers in the twelve by twelve. Check twenty inches out from center. One thirty nine, twenty inches the other way. Actually, that wasn't twenty inches. That was two foot out from. There's a foot out from center. My bad. Twenty inches is about here. Very little, but it is a small light, so let's go to the 12 by 12. I mean, a two foot by two foot 59, 66. Turn this guy back on. Seventy seven, eighty three. So, not great in the two by two. Chances are it's probably really a sixteen by sixteen. Ninety seven. As much as I do this, I may as well just go ahead and draw a box at sixteen by sixteen. This is rough guesstimates, but one hundred twenty three. 111, 155. Again, it, it does extend out to the two foot by two foot. You are getting light out there, but is it is it something where you could leave your lights two feet away from center each way? And, um, or 17, I think it's 17, uh, 17 and a half inches, something like that in each corner and expect your plants to grow healthy, I doubt it. Um, not a bad light for the price. Does get higher par than expected. Uh, pretty good numbers in the one foot radius. I'd have to go back and check to see. Oh, I can just look real quick. I got it documented here somewhere. If the Mihizi 300 actually beats it in 12 by 12, I never wrote it down. So, but I do know the Mihizi 12 in the original center par is much higher. It has more red color. Um, it's very heavy on blue as well. But this light's not bad. Um, I've seen videos online of already of people growing in the flowering budding stages so if you plan on using it for that I've already seen it be success successful for that um, so it definitely has the neat at least enough red to make the flowering stage work and do a pretty good job there's a guy online that I've actually uh, no, that's actually hit me up on my channel and talked about um, Go look at his video and he's using the 900 and a 1200 version of this light. 
I'll probably end up picking, since this light actually performed pretty well, probably end up picking up the 600 and maybe the 900 at some point. I don't feel like the 450 is going to be worth picking up. I feel like the 450 from every company is just going to be an in-between or light where they probably add 30 LEDs to it, add 3 inches to the length, and it's not that much more of an impressive light. So I'll probably go... Uh, with the 600 series next but my next video will be this Anjeet um, quick note on this Anjeet one of the, it's a Cobb series light and it's got when I opened it I just got it today and opened it and one of the lights one of the Cobbs is actually like 20-30% underneath a reflector so it's not looking great for Anjeet um, a, lot of, a lot of people wanted me to review it I didn't have high expectations but Let's see if it can crush those expectations, I guess. Alright, well, as always, like and subscribe. See you next time.